Okay, welcome back to Tunica Southern Classic 2012. Corey Duell versus Keith Freeman. One game of one pocket. It's the Inside Pool Production. Brought to you by Kamui Tips, Cybrooks.com, Viking Cues, Diamond Billiard Products, and Simona's Clock. One game of one pocket. Well, that looked like a Corey shot. Oh, we got two. Yeah, there's some. Um. Well, <laughs> let's see what Corey dreams up of. I, I find Corey to be one of the most imaginative one pocket players. Uh, out there right now. Sure. Of course, you know, you got Scott Frost and, yeah, you road, know, uh, right. Shannon Dalton. But uh, Corey is one of the more uh, inventive, imaginative on, people. And I think it's because he likes Sorry. to go down the line of, you know, he uses a set of rules. And he says, well, i got to do this. Well, I can do that with this. And he, you know, more or less invents shots that most people haven't even seen yet. Yeah, he's very creative for sure. He always has been. Great all-around player in every game. He sure is. I don't really think there's is. a game that he can't play. No. I'm just, uh, you know, constantly learning when I watch him play. Oh, look at this shot. See what I mean? It's a nice little, nice little touch that he put on that shot. Yeah, that was really nice. It's a nice little shot. Like, uh, this is going to be a heck of a match because it looks like Keith plays a little bit, uh, you know, in the realm of Corey's speed. Now, he'd love to be able to see this 14 ball, but I doubt that he's going to be able to see all of the, what he needs. Let's see what he comes up with here. Oh, look at that. He went for it. Great shot. A lot of confidence there. He knows he's selling the farm if he misses. All right, one pocket. Wow. I'm excited. <laughs> well, you just missed <laughs> a great offensive shot by Keith Freeman. Uh, Corey put him in a position where he couldn't see the right ball, so he went and he had to make the shot, and he did so. Split the wicket. Nice. Did what he could there. Yeah, Corey plays these backward bouncy shots real good when he goes at stuff like that. Stuff that normally, you, like you said, you, would, you wouldn't even think of. Right. Or you wouldn't think that could happen. He makes them happen. Somehow they're happening suddenly. And look out. He, don't give him a shot. Don't give him one ball. Because he will, will put them all in his pocket. He'll fire at his pocket all day. There he goes. It's, if he made that ball, it would have been over. 
<laughs> this 10 foot table really makes it a beast to make some of these shots. And see that, you know, Corey's shooting a game where if he misses, it actually could hurt you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> where, you know, some of the players that we've been watching in this, this event, that's not necessarily the case. They, they shoot shots that if they don't split the wicket, you know, there's no, there's no upside for them. Ooh. Wow. Uh-oh. Game over. Game over, and, and that's just the way it is. Let's watch Corey go to the races here. Uh, bing. One. He loves this. This is perfectly Corey Dole right here. Like, <laughs> this is Corey. He's got 20 different shots to take off. <laughs> it's going to be simple, simple Simon. Snap all of Corey Dole. I don't Dole see him one. missing here. I think he has a diamond nine-footer in his house. So. Two. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. He's already uh -oh, gonna get uh -oh. funny. He's gonna get lucky though. He's got he so got many that. extra balls on the table. He hits F five just a hair sloppy. thicker, and he's suddenly hitting a four, and uh -huh. there's no shots. <laughs> that was sloppy. Left-handed Corey Dole here. Let's see if we can get it done. <laughs> Look at this. Oh man, nice. what a terrible shot. <laughs> now he's got to shoot the guy's no, ball he's mad. with the fourteen. I love this. Now he's mad. So he's in. He's on three. And I think the guy's calling a foul on him, so he's actually on one. Really? Yeah, because he was on two and made a foul. And he doesn't get to clear the guy's hole out, so that's why he's a little upset. Mm -hmm. Left hand didn't really uh, come through the way he was supposed to. up short could still make the ball but yeah it's why not just away. bank the five near your hole and there run into the use the 15 13 as blockers uh-huh that works good shot or he's got a kick two around more. table shot. two oh, more for him or ball. three more oh Three, Good shot. six, nine, ten. So he should have four. Three more for him. Good shot. Nice shot. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. He's on five. <laughs> Needs to pop in this ten ball. This is a makeable ball. Uh oh. It's funny, all the balls are up table too, so he's really gonna have a tough shot here. Uh, here goes Corey left handed, just pushing it up table. Not too much more he had options to do mm -hmm. there, especially left handed. Take a moment to thank some of our sponsors that make this event possible. Of course, first and uh, foremost, uh, Kamui Tips, making sure that the $1,000 guaranteed first place is up for all these five events. That's awesome. Viking Cues, you see them in the background. 
cybirds.com for all your billiard needs. Uh, if you find yourself in need of some product here, please stop by cybirds.com and check out their prices and their selection. Simona's Claw. Well, I think Corey's hitting this with a little bit of give up at this point. He doesn't care. He's so mad after that uh, mm -hmm. one shot. I believe that that is six. We were snoozing the scorecard here. It's hard to keep up with these guys, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Nothing. He got lucky. I think Corey's capable of running out a few balls here. You can cut this ball wow. in. Wow. You'll cut this ball in. Nice. He's Corey Duel. No doubt. No reward, though. We're going to have to play some kind of crazy bank. Boy, he's got the tough end, doesn't he? Look at that mess. He sure does. Jeez. I don't think there's any. I don't think he's checkmated. But have I been wrong before, man? No. No. Corey's on two. Stuck him. Now he stuck that in there, but that doesn't mean that Corey doesn't have a shot on this seven ball here or eleven ball. Uh, uh. Yeah, he hit it too hard. I tried to turn to it. Develop. Yeah, it didn't turn quite the way he wanted it to. Mm -hmm. Well, he just brought a ball up too and gave the guy the final shot or the seven ball. Okay. Oh, he's boing that one. I don't think he expected that. <laughs> And Keith isn't going for anything. He's he knows what he's doing here too. You know, as long as he doesn't get a bunch of balls into play for Corey, Corey mm -hmm. pretty much is is toast. Well, they're starting to come apart. The clusters are starting to come apart. That's all that needs to happen. Look at this shot. Whoa! And he hit it. That's actually a lot better than what he could have done. I mean. Maybe this guy can run out from here, though. I mean, Maybe he has he to make these two balls. He just got to roll up. It's going naturally. Oh, he missed he, it. He dogged it. He missed it. Well, he's got a whole. I mean, Corey really still doesn't have too many of the notches. He, all he's got, all he can do is. I mean, those balls are just way. They're just up there. He's gonna have to bank out. He can. He can definitely make this first shot and start, you know, at least clear the other shot. Clear the hole for the other guy. Mm -hmm. Corey's on three and he's going lefty again. And he made a good hit there. He's trying to bank this 11. He wants to get him underneath the 9. I think he's going to let Corey shoot at this 6 ball. Wow. Corey did the right thing. He brought it downtown. Mm -hmm. Nice shot. 
Now, the reason I like that shot is that he didn't lose his rock trying to get that ball in his hole. Corey's on four. Too many nine ball players think of making the ball when they should be just positioning it. Uh-oh, hmm. uh-oh. There it is. Oh, that's the end. No, it's six to four. I mean, this guy still has to make two balls, but mm -hmm. he's given him a pretty darn good chance to make the first one. Yep. You know, and if he can get behind this eight, he'll be all right. It's a lot of green to go across, though, that 10-foot table. He split the pocket. No. No. That's a funny shot. He's ne this guy's never played on this table before, I guarantee it. No, well, I think Corey's going to make the nine. I think he's just got to rely on his skill here. What time? Like the... Heck of a shot to make. Hmm. Okay. Well, he gave the guy the ball. Uh, this guy, if he can float this ball over for the 11, he's all right. Keith. Keith has game. Yep. Okay, he's on seven. Still no we'll getting give shot. It to him. Yeah, he's going to play the, uh, he's going to pocket Corey's ball. I think that's what he's going to do now, yeah. And yeah. He'll do it. We're nice and soft. I don't think he's going to try and put him on the 11. Look at this. Or he's going to kick it in. So Corey's on five. We'll give Corey five. Now here, here does he run his cue ball in too? Um, no, no, he if doesn't want to. to. Up, he right? just looks to. He's looking at the eight, okay. saying, what, "Is this a playable shot?" And since it isn't, he doesn't have to worry about anything. So we'll give Corey six. Corey needs two, and the other guy needs one. That's a smart shot right there. If he nicks this seven, there you go. Basically, one of the rules is try and get the guy shooting into the opposite corner straight, and you got a pretty good safety on your hand. He still has to, he has to do quite a the bit. Ball. Oh, he's just gonna play oh no, he missed the ball. He's got to put one up. Did it hit it? It hit a ball, yeah. Hit a rail and a ball. Hmm. I think he lost his mind here. What a... He, I can't believe that he shot that shot. Now, wow. Corey gets a free freebie here almost. He does? Yeah, there's a shot here, believe it or not. Two rails. Watch Corey. One, two, down in town, and look at this shot. Like, wow. it's all day. <laughs> it's all day long. That was awesome. That was an awesome shot right and, there. They're, he, they've built in defense because he just gets yeah, to run. It's nice. It's a nice shot. This guy has to come with the shot or he knows he can lose the game. Yeah, he's got to play the super one pocket shot here. Boink, boink. He, he isn't going to make it in a million years. He didn't want to let it go that far. No? No? Mm-mm. All you look to do there is get it over to the third diamond. Now, does he go bottom rail, stick him? Yeah, you know. Stick the ball around? Oh. That'll work, though, right? You know, this ball's going to give this guy a bank, bank shot. Yeah, I gave him a bank. An easy bank, too. Uh, nothing's easy, but uh, I've seen harder banks. Real natural bank. It's a little sharp. He hit it right in a hole. Sure did. Sure did. And that's all she wrote. All right, I think they're going to play again. If I, oh, well, we'll see. I think they're busting down. Okay, well, folks, All right. that's another match. Excellent. Thanks for showing up, Steve.
stay tuned. We're going to keep some more pull coming right at you. Thanks again to Kamui, Simona's Cloth, Cyberts, and, and Viking Q. Viking Qs. And Diamond Billiard Products. Absolutely. All right, folks. Thanks, stay everybody. Tuned.